Hey guys, what's up? Cameron here from Team Bakership today with a deck profile of the stun deck you saw me trolling Dueling Network with. Now, the video is already up on the YouTube channel. Um, it's uh, it, it's it's like a montage of me just running around Dueling Network, dueling a few people with it. I think I might have had like two duels in the video. I don't know. But hey, you should guys, you guys should go check it out and uh, watch me in all my glorious misplays. But anyway, the deck's a stun deck, and if you don't know what a stun deck is, it's basically anti-meta, except, and this is this is a, this is like a big argument of topic, except it's uh it's a little different. Now, basically, what stun does is it it is exactly what the title of the deck says: it stuns your opponent. Think of it as like a taser gun. It's just every little thing that you do, it's just gonna electrocute you and disable you from moving. Kind of like paralyze with or what was it? Thunder Wave on Pokemon? Aha! Pokemon joke, fuck off. So anyway, now as I just go through the deck, you'll understand what I made more and more. <coughs> Alright, it runs three Doom Caliber Knight, and basically Doom Caliber Knight, any effect that activates, any monster effect that activates, he a, he destroys himself and negates it. So basically you tribute, well yeah, you tribute the, uh, the Doom Caliber Knight to negate the effect. Uh, and it negates any effect. So basically the strategy of Doom Cal Knight is the same as Thunder King, summon end your turn. That's just how it works. Plus, it's a 1900 beater, which uh, also helps tie in with the uh, the stun. Then you got Thunder King Ryo, and God, we all know what he does. You can't add cards to your hand. It can negate special summons, not inherit special summons, just to clarify that. Or Battle Fate, or, uh, well, that's an inherit summon, so yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Thunder King, and he's a 1900 beater, so. Then there's Kaiku. Kaiku is amazing. Kaiku, when he inflicts battle damage, you can banish two card, two monster cards in your opponent, up to two monster cards in your opponent's graveyard. Um, I know I've made the mistake of actually banishing spell cards, um, which you can't do. It's up to two monster cards. So yeah. So anyway, basically you can just keep removing shit like Necro Garden, which I don't know why they wouldn't just negate the attack with Necro Garden anyway. But it will force your opponent to use Necro Garden as a pack. It gets rid of Hornet. All kinds of goodies in the graveyard you don't want. Glow bulb. Anyway, I don't know if they run through Breaker, but I ran through Breaker because it baits out Bottomless, it baits out, you know, warnings and stuff like that. It just, it just forces them into using it. Um, and if they don't have any back backfills, he's a 1900 beater. And he, or he's a 1600 beater if he uses effect. <clears throat> but yeah, you can just summon him, destroy a spell card, uh, or you can bait him out into playing Bottomless or just goodies you don't want on the back row. Uh, I ran three Dyna. I know a lot of them only run two, but I ran three um, just because I like to lock my opponents. Or I just like to lock the field down in general, so I like to lock it down as best as I can. And, and pretty much, um, you can set them when there's a bunch of special summon monsters on the field, and it destroys all special summon monsters on the field. It's great. Also, I ran two Cyber Dragon for like helping run over like big monsters like Thunder King and stuff like that you don't want on the field. And I, and I ran one Reaper and one Grandma. Um, I had a Sangin in here, but I found out that I didn't want it in here. <coughs> Just because, obviously, there's only two searchable, there's, there's only, like, five searchable targets, and that's not enough for me. Uh, three duality, you want it, you need it in this deck. I don't care what anyone says, you need three duality in this deck to make it consistent. Otherwise, it's just not going to be as good. I ran three MST, a lot of people run two. I ran three just to get rid of, like, back rows, like I said. Um, like you like to bait him out with a breaker, but I ran three MST to um, help help get rid of bottomless stuff like that. Uh, also heavy, obvious reasons. I ran two Smashing Ground. Uh, it actually helped out a lot. Smashing is a great tech card, like it really is. Um, I side decked them personally, but that's just because my deck's a TG Agent deck, and I really don't need that much pop and power in the deck. It's already got enough on its own. But I ran two Smashing Ground on this, and it helped out a lot. Um, it would either force my opponent to play back rows they didn't want to, or it would get rid of the monster. Uh, and Dark Hole and Book of Moon. Uh, obvi oh, and Monster Reborn. Obvious staples. Uh, so, for traps, you ran the Solemn lineup. I mean, those are just obvious things. Two bottomless. Um, I ran two compulsory instead of dimensional prisons. Uh, I just like compulsory better. Um, that That's more of an opinion-based thing anyway. People like D-Prison better. I like compulsory better. It's just... Obviously, I want the D-Prisons if I'm playing against Dark Worlds. But, in general... I like the compulsory is better. They're a little more helpful. Uh, and Torrential and Trap Dash. 
So basically, as you can see, the deck uh, it, it stuns. Like it, it does exactly what it, the deck title says. It stuns your opponent. It just locks. It locks down. It just prevents your opponent from doing certain things that they normally would be able to do. Like Thunder Kick prevents them from searching out cards. Kaiko gets rid of stuff they need in the graveyard. Doom Cow just locks down effect monsters in general. Breaker baits out stuff and or gets rid of stuff like Mirror Force uh, and possibly Torrential. That's a are uh, debatable. <clears throat> Uh, Fossil Dino locks down special summoning. Um, Cyber Dragon gets rid of big monsters. Um, Spirit Reaper just good defense, and Grandma just keeps bouncing back cards into your opponent's into your opponent's hand. It's annoying. Um, it's fun to play with. Like I mean, if you really want to go to a, a tournament and you don't really feel safe running the deck you're running, run this. It's uh, it's it's annoying. I'll tell you that. You know, as for side deck goes, I I don't know. I, I would side something like DD Crows, uh, Mind Crush, Leech in the Light, stuff like that. Um, you know, normal side deck stuff. It's, it is a stun deck. Generally, a lot of decks will side deck into stun. So, you know, I would just side in normal stuff. 